Hi, Hi YouTube, YouTube family. family. My name is Elisha English. And I'm Philip English. Welcome, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to our channel. Oh my gosh, can you hear that? Wait, I feel like we're gonna blow the away. The camper is gonna blow away. It is. Wow, the, <laughs> the ceiling. It sounds like it's gonna blow away. It is so windy where we live in Ontario, Canada. We are. I was just standing outside. And my ponytail was out in one whole direction. It is so windy. It's almost just swirling all around us. It's crazy. So we are definitely working on interior projects today on the camper. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go. It is so windy today. We're literally gonna blow away. It is a huge windstorm here. And from inside the camper, all we can hear is huge guts of wind. Ah. Can you hear the wind? It's crazy. I'm going to blow away. Did you see on the dashboard I put, you're going to be blown away by today's video. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I can't resist a pun when it's right there in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag sorry not sorry. This will dry clear, right? Yes. <laughs> and it's quick dry. I will do the edges once the tops dry. I'm kind of just doing it in stages just to make sure that I don't have any extra. Like I did get a little bit on the side here, so I'm going to just smooth that out. I know it takes longer, but I like to sometimes do things in kind of sections. That way I know I get like a perfect application rather than rolling the whole thing and maybe getting globs in some of the seams. A bit of a perfectionist like that, but it really helps with the end result for sure. And to shake because the camper's shaking. <laughs> Go away, wind. I'm going to let these dry and help Philip remove more of the wallpaper. Now I'm just feeling guilty. <laughs> what day is it? <laughs> oh my goodness. Seriously. It's like Groundhog Day. It's like Groundhog Day. It's coming off way easier on that smoother wood that he's working on right now than it did on this darker textured stuff. So we're happy to know that it seems to be the smoother stuff on the other two sides that we're removing. So still working on wallpaper. I'm gonna go get the table saw ready so we can start cutting our next project. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so it's been about a half an hour since I painted a clear coat on top of my green cabinets and I absolutely love the color green, but I promised I would show you the good, the bad, and the ugly of everything we're doing with the camper series and I'm having a minor heart attack because I just rolled on the clear poly and I'm not sure if you can see think you can I'm running into a little bit of a problem all of the cabinets are drying white and extremely textured it looks like I just sponge painted white all over all of the drawers and the doors obviously not what I was hoping for and usually because this is a quick dry this would definitely have been clear and flat by now. And I have done this same type of application many, many times and not had this problem. So I'm going to leave it for a little while longer. Fingers crossed it decides to not stay this way. If not, I'm going to be back to sanding and repainting green. I also forgot to mention that during yesterday's video, I was having a problem with the coloring on the outside of the camper and was so relieved that when we came out today that the problem seemingly wasn't really a problem because the black is actually just two quick coats and it's perfectly fine. I'm gonna show you a quick picture of what it looked like yesterday when we came outside early morning, which I'm guessing now that I see it must have just been because it was super cool the night before, but it had these great big white rings all over and I thought, oh no, something was not working right with the outside painting but it seems to be all good so this side of the camper is looking great oh my goodness it is so windy <laughs> and i'm really liking that i've decided to do the white windows and when the top is all fresh white i think it's really going to be amazing and then obviously the vents are going to be seamlessly black across Whew, another problem averted look at you go 
<laughs> yeah, so huge pile of vinyl. <laughs> In the home stretch on that wall. I'm going to work on getting. Whoa! <laughs> Hold on to the camper. Holy moly! Yikes! It's like, hold on a second. <laughs> I'm going to try to bear the windstorm and do some work on the table saw to set aside the camper and work on the next parts of getting our benches put together. I'm so excited that we got these benches built already and I just know that they're gonna come together once I get them all upholstered and everything just kind of the way that I wanted. So our not being able to upcycle the ones that we found has turned out to be a blessing because we now will be able to have some additional storage and just a layout that's perfect for our camper. So everything happens for a reason. So what I'm gonna do is what I, I'm going to measure the fronts of inside both of these benches first, and then I'm going to do my quarter inch plywood on this side. That way, because you look this way, you want this to be seamless overlapping the wood that's gonna be at the front. And so I'm going to cut and measure those spots first and then come back and measure my butt ends of these benches. And then I'm going to do this back piece here and then hopefully my flaps that are gonna flip out and make my storage inside here if I can find some hinges in the garage. Ooh, someone made those perfect. <laughs> <laughs> And then this front one. Oh. Oh wait. No. No. So I'm undecided exactly what I'm going to do for this front part. I know it's going to be for shoes and storage coming in the door. <laughs> Stinky shoes. Stinky shoes in Dayton's bed. He keeps reminding me. And then, but I don't know if I want to have it cover doors open, if I want it to slide, if I just want to leave it open and put some cute baskets. I'm not entirely sure. So I know that I'll be able to add that and figure out that stuff after. So I think I'm gonna leave that for now. I can hold off on that for a few minutes. I'm cutting too first. Let's cut. I'm going out in the wind. <laughs> I get really, really bad wind burn really quickly. And so because I have such sensitive skin, I'm going to wear one of my hoo rags to do my cutting and protect myself fully, fully from the windstorm that's outside because when I get windburn on my face, it makes me feel like I have heat stroke, and I want to feel better later and not feel like that. So I'm just gonna wear my hoo-rag today. Looks like I'm robbing the camper. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go cut. Brad nailer, I'm going to brand nail on the quarter inch plywood, and then I'm going to work on the casings on the front. So fun! Let's see, let's see. It looks great. Oh, that looks so good. It's going to be pink and white. So Philip just used the jigsaw just to do a tiny little like one eighth of an inch slice on the one corner just to make sure that this was nice and square on the corner because things in the camper are not perfectly square. Not necessarily our building, <laughs> maybe, um, but more so that the camper flooring and the walls and everything don't sit perfectly square. We want to make sure that our end casings lay really flat and can adhere properly. So we just cut off just a tiny little nick on the end to make sure it was perfect. Good job. Lunch break lunch break okay so we have a confession we're eating potato chips diet coke and pepperettes <laughs> for our lunch break today oh there's no one to make lunch for me and you when we're working we should really teach the kids while we're homeschooling to make us lunch every day <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> we would get peanut butter sandwiches granola bars and pizzas. homemade pizzas homemade probably pizzas, yeah. <laughs> Those are the boys' favorites. Okay. This is a lunch for champions right here. Yeah. Okay. So we are now going to finish our little snack break right now and then get back to doing the front casings on the benches. Well, <laughs> a 
I'm not even sure how I feel right now, but I have, well, I don't even know. <laughs> Something has gone wrong with the clear coat on my cabinet, and I'm not sure if it was maybe a bad can of the poly that I used or not, I'm not sure. But I applied it to the same paint that I always use because I use this green paint often and the same brand and the same type of clear coat. I just refinished a couple of gorgeous sideboards with it and this didn't happen just like two weeks ago. So I don't really know, but it looks like I have sponge painted white and blue bubbles all over the cabinet fronts. Clearly not what I had envisioned. So this sucks. <laughs> and so, because it's so uh, windy today, I'm not gonna sand outside, but I'm going to have to sand the fronts of all of these. So I'm really happy that I haven't gone to the sides here with the clear coat and that I just was at the stage of doing the surface because I'll just be able to sand this, but they're still a little bit tacky, but they literally look like white bubbles all over the front. This is just not. We can see it. Oh, wow. I don't even, this has never happened. I've refinished hundreds of pieces of furniture using these same products and this has never happened. So I'm gonna chalk it up to a bad can of the poly. I'm not really sure. I really don't even know what to say. Oh well, I'll make it right. <laughs> when it's not so windy, I'll sand the fronts and then I'll just do another coat over with the green and then I'll use something different for the clear coat. Perfect. It happens. It happens. Let's build the benches. I got my measurements. I'm gonna go bear the windstorm to make my cuts. Holy cow. Don't blow away on me. I just had to hold the door shut just so the leaves and stuff weren't blowing in while I was measuring. No, that was me trying to get in. Oh, <laughs> just goodness gracious. Wish me luck, I'll be back. Good luck. I feel like Mary Poppins. I'm wondering if we have some pieces that were on some of the flat sides that we took off that we can cut for the ends. Oh yeah, maybe. We were able to make these end casings out of some of the scrap that was used from the storage that we took out. There were some of the smooth sidewalls that didn't have any water damage or anything on them. So it saved us using some of the new quarter inch plywood. Yay, another upcycle. Good job. And so all we had to do was remove a bunch of these little staple nails that they had put in. Just using the hammer, tapping them out. That way we can lay them smooth on our end caps. And then I'm hoping that we can also do a little bit of the upcycle on the smaller sides here and then we only need to do, use a new sheet for this front right here how to do with my cuts Perfect. so i left that quarter inch a little bit longer on the end there to account for the wood that i'm going to need to put on the front side of this when i decide what i'm going to do with it and if i have to make any adjustments later i can always bump that end cap off if i come up with some other brilliant idea on how i'm going to do that We got a bench. Okay, let's do the back and the front of that one just so that we have one finished. Okay, sure. I'm gonna go check for hinges in the garage. Look what I found. Hinges. Yes! I hope they work. They're not hopefully gonna be too big, but these came off of an old sewing cabinet that I took apart. And I always keep hardware off of old stuff in case I should ever need it. And since we can't go to the store and we need some hinges, these are gonna hopefully be perfect. I just hope that they're not gonna be too big. We just run another, oh, this is gonna be quarter inch plywood or half inch plywood anyways. Yeah, so that'll be so, perfect. Oh, awesome. Wait, hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up, wait a minute. These have to be gold. They have to be gold. Right? All the other hardware in the camper is gold. I so. mean, it's gonna be covered. Yeah, but when you move the cushion, it Oh my goodness <laughs> gracious. I'm gonna spray them. Yay! We have a bench. 
we have to put that other support beam in the hinges on so that that seat part will actually flap or flip, <laughs> flip, flip, or flip, flip or flap upside upright. Make it flip. There you go. Oh, <laughs> well, we'll have to do a little cut out there for the window frame. I knew that we mentioned that the other day and then forgot to just do it. That's all right. That's okay though. So that turned out great. And then we're also going to be making a spot at the top. There's no support beam in there. <laughs> You're Actually, brave. <laughs> no, it's comfy. Okay. It looks perfect. It's perfect. And then the top back Can behind Philip's back. Me? Yeah. Is going to be a spot where we'll be able to have a spot that opens up to be able to put storage in. And then also where both of the seats are, those are both going to open up for storage. So this is so exciting. You look great on the bench. Thank you. Okay. I'm coming to stay with you. We're both a little windblown from today. It is incredibly windy. I don't know if you can hear it on the camera, but it is just swirling and whirling out here. And it's really hard to get anything done outside because it's just so windy. Everything's blowing away. I lost my notepad. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know where that blew to. We looked around the property, but it apparently went for a real big fly. We got the benches almost done today. We got yeah. one almost totally done and then the framework of the other one's finished. And then my cupboards. That's okay. Just a minor setback. So on the next nice day, I'll be fixing those up because I'm not sacrificing how nice these cupboards are going to look. I'm going to make sure that they're perfect. And yeah. then my plan also for today was to be able to put a clear coat, not only on the cupboards, which obviously was a flop, but also on the hardware. So I'm really glad that I didn't do any of that today because it's, whoa, <laughs> things are like hitting the camper. Wow. So we are going to go in where it's a little less blustery and hang out with the kids. And um, apparently I'm playing Yahtzee shortly and we are going to make some banana muffins. So I hope that you guys are having a great day. Yeah. Thank you so much for everyone. We were blown away literally by all of the, I couldn't help myself, all of the congratulations that you guys sent on our comment section from yesterday's video, congratulating us on hitting our milestone of 100,000 YouTube family members. Amazing. We are the luckiest YouTubers ever. Thank yeah. you guys so much for sending all the love and comments that you guys did. So we really appreciate it. And our kids thought that it was just the best ever. So they were pretty pumped that you guys thought that was pretty awesome that we're going to be getting our YouTube play button and that we hit the goal that we set for our family. So pretty exciting. So I think we're going to go and hang out with the kids until tomorrow, until tomorrow. So we love you guys. Thank you so much for all of your support and we will see you on tomorrow's video. Bye. Bye.